Hey everybody. So, oh hey D, hey Ava. So I have um, some construction guys on my roof at the moment, so I apologize for all the noise. I hope that it's not coming through. It might be. I hope it's not too loud. How's everybody today? It is so warm and sunny today. So I'm just getting set up. I like to just take my time when I first get here because I know it takes everybody a couple of minutes to get on. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eva. <laughs> Apparently I, I scared Eva. She was working on a spreadsheet and then I popped in. <laughs> I've done that. Somebody's done that to me too. I've been watching lives and they, they left for a minute and I forgot I was watching their stream and they came back and gave me a heart attack. D, it isn't bad. I'm, I'm glad to hear that because it's like so bad on my end. It's been giving me a headache. They've been at it for a couple of, um, a couple of days now. My view, my live view counter isn't working. So I'm just going to put that away. Because um, it's not showing my YouTube watchers, so I have that in the top corner, so I'm just going to ditch it. No, it doesn't want to go. Trying to get the prayer list ready. You have church on uh, on Wednesday nights. It's rainy where you are, Eva. We need the rain. It's been so hot and dry lately. Oh, you have prayer meeting on Wednesdays? Yeah, I think my church used to do that too. <clears throat> I'm just messing with my monitor a little bit, moving things around so I can see my YouTube and my Twitch. And then I'm gonna get started. This Flamingo I did um, on my Twitch stream. I do live streams on Twitch um, a couple of times a week. So if you guys wanna join me on my Twitch channel, um, if anybody has Twitch, it's uh, Tea Time with Taryn. All right, I'm just gonna jump in and get started. I was gonna respond to D, but she says BRB. So I'll respond to her when she gets back. I got new paint brushes. I'm so excited about that. I, uh, I've only had like the the two little ones that, I, well, I wouldn't say little, but I had the um, the two that I was working with before. These ones from Stamping Up. And I finally, I went online and I, ha I had to put in some, put an order in for my camera equipment. And so, um, <laughs> move my dog out the way. <laughs> there we go. And so I, I ordered some new paintbrushes. These are, they're super cheap and honestly, they're not the greatest, but it's nice to have like a few more options. So I'm pretty excited about that. Today's, um, <laughs> D's back. So there've been, there's been floods around you. That's, um, that's really unfortunate. I, I wish, um, I wish they could send the rain this way. My poor garden is looking so sad. I 
So I'm wearing the headsets to try and kind of, um, I think it's helping with like the background noises. You bought some Arteza water brushes, Dee? How are they? Are they good? <laughs> this is the card I'm using. I, I started to draw a um, cactus on it, but then I changed my mind, so. Um, so we're going to leave my little friend in the corner. I named him Pinky. Pinky the Flamingo. <laughs> and I'm going to start with my, I'm doing a pineapple today. The pineapple was requested. So I'm going to work on my pineapple. <laughs> Eva, you have chickens. That's really fun. Do you live on a farm? Or do you just like, do you just, I know some people have, just have, because you can keep them in your backyard. But that's still fun. So right now I'm just going to sketch out sort of um, where I want my pineapple to be. I'm not actually going to do all of the planning work today. I usually like to sketch out where I, I want everything, but... I'm just going to um, do some basic shapes as like a guide for me to work inside of, but I don't think I need, um, I don't think I need to draw out a pineapple. No farm, we just have six chickens for eggs. That's fun. Honestly, chickens kind of scare me. That's nice when you can give um, give the eggs away. I have lots of veggies. I give my veggies away. I'm just working my way up because I missed some of the comments. Our garden has weeds because we haven't been able to get out there and pull them. Yeah, my garden's pretty bad. Um, It looks like a Frankie to me. The, the flamingo should be Frankie the flamingo. You can show that card on top of the flamingo. I can't see it because your picture's covering it. Oh, we did this one um, a while ago, I think. I don't. I think we did this one on um, YouTube. It's um, or or maybe we did something like it. I went and I was like in a succulent phase for a while. So um, I think it was that one. Yeah, I'm growing some veggies for our preacher and he's growing some for us. That's awesome. <laughs> Looks like it has attitude. <laughs> Frankie the Flamingo with Attitude. That's okay, Eva. They, I do, um, they do get recorded and you can watch them back again. Maybe put it on uh, double speed though because they're pretty long. Okay, I'm going to get started with my... Um... There you go. Frankie's judgy head can be sticking out there while we work. Um, yeah, so I'll show you my brushes really quick before I get started because I wanted, um, I wanted some different shapes and stuff because the ones that I have, like these are the two that I've been working with for a while and they're pretty much just like the same shape and they're pretty close in size. So I, um, I, I bought these. So these are all the different sizes and shapes and I think it's a little better to have a little bit of a variety. I've tried them all out. I can't say that I'm probably ever gonna use these ones though, but I'm gonna keep them and see. 
If I don't use them in the next couple of months, I'm just going to give them away. But I do like, I like how like this one's going to be awesome for detail and stuff. So it's nice to have some detail brushes too. <laughs> I hope I'm putting all the right lids on the right <laughs> brushes. These brushes are a lot cheaper than the ones from Stamping Up. These are like um, China knockoffs. So the, br the bristles are very plasticky and they're not great. What would I use? What would I use these for? I don't know. I maybe like if I was doing petals or something, I could use the the big flat ones. I'm not sure. Maybe like details for trees. I don't know. Well, I wouldn't say details for trees, but just like if I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't do a lot of landscapes, but I think like maybe, maybe if you were a landscape painter. The bigger, thicker brushes would be good. I don't know. I I do clean them because they have they have water in the reservoir. So so I take when I want to swap out the colors, I um I just clean the tip. I squeeze the water out and clean it that way. And then um, when I'm done painting completely, I just run them under cold water. the The ends are stained thing does stain the the tips a little bit so that's why some of these look like they have color on them they I use them um, I mean I use ink instead of actual watercolors things do do um, stain a little bit Okay, Eva. I heard that there's some some issues with the live streams today, but I th I thought it was on Twitch. Maybe uh maybe YouTube is having trouble too. I'm gonna get started with my um. Uh, you missed the answer about the um, how to clean them. So there's um, there's water in the brush itself, and I just use um, a paper towel and I clean off the brush um, when I want to switch colors. The um, the brush tips are stained. It looks like there's ink on there, but it's not. It's just stained from all the use that it's had. Um, and when I'm done. Like after I'm done painting, I'll go take it. I'll just maybe use some dish soap to just clean them off good and solid. But while I'm painting, when I'm switching colors, I just use the paper towel to switch the colors. So I'm gonna get started. I know I've said that like a hundred times. I'm gonna grab some yellow. I have orange too, but I think I'm gonna do it in yellow my little penguin tray. This ink is Crushed Curry by um, Stamping Up. It's one of the ink refillers. I'm just going to make some triangle shapes to start off with. I think my brush is a little wet to start. Let's dry it off a little bit. I'm just going to start at the bottom in the middle and work my way up. I can't decide if the yellow is 
bright enough or not, but we'll see how it goes. I can always add to it. Roofers are all quiet all of a sudden. We had um, we had a power outage in my neighborhood not so long ago, maybe half an hour ago, and I was like panicking. I was like, how am I gonna get online to do my live video? But luckily it came back on. I wasn't even sure what to do because it's like, if there are any people who are waiting, they come on to check. There wouldn't be a way for me to let them know I couldn't stream. It looks like, um, because I've got the square and I'm doing like the diamond shapes. It kind of reminds me of like a golfing shirt. <laughs> so the yellow looks like it's drying much darker than what I'm painting it. So that's good. That's going to work. Okay, D, no worries. I'll try, uh, try to keep talking. Sometimes I go into concentration mode and I, I forget to chat. But it's been such a lovely day out today. I wanted to go sit out in the sun, but the roofers are like throwing um, the old tiles and stuff off the roof into the backyard. So it's a little scary to sit out there today. I really wanted to go out and enjoy the sunshine. My, um, my husband does this really good pineapple recipe. Thanks, D. It's nice to have the company while I paint. Um, my husband has this great um, pineapple recipe. He fries up the, he cuts it into slices or like chunks more like, and then he puts it on the barbecue. Okay, let's, let's rewind. He um, mixes brown sugar and cinnamon and then he coats it in that and then he puts it on the barbecue and he cooks it. It is so good. Um yeah, I'm just I'm just picking up a little bit. Yeah. Just enough. I don't I don't want to like soak the brush. The color is very rich, it's very concentrated. So yeah, I don't want to pick up too much. I'm just trying to saturate the tip of my brush. It's just, my husband just texted me. He knows I'm streaming right now. I'm just gonna text him back and tell him so that he doesn't think I'm ignoring him.
husbands. Yeah, it is it's so delicious. I always get excited when he picks up pineapple. It's our little treat. I've been trying to be good and not like buy ice cream and stuff, so it's nice when we have fruit as an alternative. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm doing kind of the pineapple pattern. I'm doing like the diamond shapes and then like it will make the uh, pineapple. I had, um, I did a couple of practice ones. Let's see if I can grab my notebook and I'll show you. It's really, um, it's really rough and I scribbled all over it. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so you can see, like, it's just, like, the little diamond shapes that are going to make up the pineapple. Diamonds probably should have been a little bit bigger. Somebody um, requested a pineapple, and I don't think he's on today, <laughs> but um, maybe I'll come on later and I can show him the pineapple. I asked for um, some requests on my um, Twitch channel. Thanks, Eva. so hard to keep them like evenly shaped I had some quotes for um, the pineapple there was one that's I pine for you but I don't know who I would give that to um, party like a pineapple I think I'll probably use that one because I think that's cute and that would be good for our birthday card um, what else did I find? Oh, in a world full of apples, be a pineapple. <laughs> so I thought that was cute. I think I'm going to go with party like a pineapple. Oh, I'm glad that you like that card, Ava. I made that card um, in a card making class. My mom runs little classes. So I'm glad that you liked it. I'll tell her. I'll tell you you like that one. So as I'm doing like the edges, like the pineapple is going to come up and it's going to be round. So I'm keeping that in mind as I'm forming the, these um, diamonds. These ones on the corners are going to have a very rounded edge to them. It's going to be like, rind Ugh, I can't speak, <laughs> rounded triangles. I think my pineapple is going to look a little bit square, but that's okay. I usually try to kind of do the form at the end, but I was thinking um, like the form, I mean the outside diamonds at the end, but I didn't want to go too far and end up with a really square pineapple. So I'm thinking I should do it now, then I can kind of create that rounded shape. Hi, TSBD. Yeah, I'm doing a pineapple card. Um, one of the Twitch viewers, I think, um, gave me the pineapple card suggestion. What do you think?
I love how, so I'm, it's a little bit inconsistent, the colors, like the, how deep the yellow is, but I kind of like it. I like that it's kind of inconsistent, but I might still go back and, um, and work on kind of, cause if I do, if I make the, the diamonds on the outside more darker, it's going to give it kind of a more of, um, make it, I want to say realistic, but not really. <laughs> give it like more of like a, a shadow on the outside. Yeah, it's ink that I'm painting with. I use some, they're water-based inks. You can buy water-based inks, um, but I buy um, stamp pad refills because it's the same thing. And it's cheaper because this I think these are five dollars each if you're buying them um, in America they would be cheaper I think they're four dollars they might have gone up though it's a it's around four or five dollars for one of these and they they last me forever because you just need like a drop like like this was just like one drop of ink and it's going to get me through the whole pineapple. I'm trying to be um, kind of consistent with the gaps too. It's not easy, but I'm coming back in and I'm fixing those gaps a little bit too. <laughs> things my sister gave this to me it was a um it's a candy dish but like let's be like real how much candy can you really fit in this thing <laughs> so yeah I'm like I'm not using it as a candy dish she gets me she buys me a lot of quirky stuff like I have a penguin mug and an owl mug from her my family buy me like very strange things um all of my dash hound mugs are from my family too just a bunch of weirdos so yeah I was like I'm not I'm not using it as a candy dish but then um, I was watching somebody do their um, their videos doing watercolor and they use a ceramic dish they say it's better than plastic so there you go that's I figured I might as well use it for painting then <laughs> right I don't know what kind of candy would go in here Maybe those, um, um, what are they called? Uh, Jordan mints? Is that what they're called? Maybe put some of those in there, I don't know. D, you're getting a storm now? That's not good. Hope you guys stay safe. Eva, it was you who has the chickens, right? So how does that work? Do you keep them like in a, in a, like are they caged off in the backyard or? Yes, prayers for, uh, for Dee and her safety for sure. And her family. Storms are not fun. Air in a small pen, they get out during the day and then we lock them up at night. Okay. 
I always thought it would be cool to own chickens, but if I'm going to be honest, I have um, family who have a small farm and they have chickens and they let them um, run free in like the house um, garden was was fenced in and so they, they would run free. And I was always scared to come to the front door because the chickens would chase me. They're so scary. <laughs> that was when I was a kid. D says, we are good. We get them like the beach here lately. In 15 minutes, the sun will be shining. Oh, that's good. Glad to hear that. Yeah. Tropical um, weather is weird. We used to live in South Africa. We used to get that too. We just get hit with a storm and then like five minutes later, it was like nothing happened. I'm craving pineapple now. You have four white ones and two red ones, and you named them. They're our pets. Aww. I feel like. I feel like you can't have a hen and not name it Henrietta. Like, it's the cutest name for a hen. These are all drying at different rates, so maybe they'll kind of dry closer in color. What I like about the inks is they do dry pretty fast, and I tend to like stick my hand over what I've already painted, and you can see like my hands are still clean. So it's not transferring very easily because it's drying fairly quickly, so that's nice. That's one bonus of using these inks. It also might be the cardstock I'm using. <laughs> Aww, your bulldog doesn't like the chickens. <laughs> That's too funny. I don't blame him. What's your What's your bulldog's name? It does, yeah, it's pretty easy to, to do pineapples. I was a little bit intimidated at first. I thought, mm, there's too much detail, but it's not too bad. He is just like, when you want to paint something, you just have to kind of break down, break it down into shapes, right? And just paint the shapes. Oh, I wanted to know what your bulldog's name is, Eva. How long have you had him for? I love hearing about people's pets. I just made this diamond <laughs> really weird. Hi, Killer Code. How's it going? I'm painting a pineapple today. I keep I keep missing your streams. You always stream at um, dinner time. Well, dinner time my time, anyways. My diamonds are becoming very misshapen. <laughs> yeah, the, the time zones are 
a pain in the butt. <laughs> I asked Eva about her bulldogs. Eva's on YouTube watching me from YouTube right now. And she says, um, Ruby, she is my English white bulldog, weighing 70 pounds. Aw. And she has an 11 year old. She will, sorry, she will be 11 years old in November, but we have had her almost four years. Aww. I love bulldogs. I love all dogs. Killer Code, do you have any pets? My baby, my fur baby is um, sleeping next to me right now. The chain pull painting. I don't know. Um, Eva, I don't know what that is. Should I Google it? You do have pets, Killer Code? What do you have? I'm gonna look up this chain pull painting. Is that, that's not the one where you run it, run the, um, the string through the paint, is it? And then you make the flower. You have a Labrador killer code and a black stray female cat. Do you, does your cat and your dog get along? Hi, Macla Drifter. <laughs> How's it going? Um, Eva, yeah, I looked it up quick. Yeah, I have seen those before. I do want to try it. I think it would be better with maybe a thicker paint. I don't know if it would work um, with inks, but I should try. The fur baby I have, I have a miniature dash hound. She's, um, she's seven. She just turned seven and we've had her for two years. Killer code. They've lived since they were little in an apartment with me and my wife. Aww. And they were both eight years old. <sighs> Macla Drifter, you lost your your um, keys at work today? That sucks. I actually lost my keys too, but I lose mine around the house. <laughs> I just found them today. Lola the dog and Pixie the cat. Aww. I like those names. Those are cute names. Is it Lua? Lua? It's cute. I told my husband that I really wanted a cat. My neighbors have um, really cute cats. They sit out the window and they watch from the window. They're really cute. Lua means moon. Aww. So yeah, I told my husband I need a cat, so hopefully, he said maybe. I think maybe we'll wait until Maddie is gone. 
before we get another pet though. Maddie's been really expensive. <clears throat> This week and next week is gonna be busy, Macla Drifter. What have you got going on? Yeah, so I think I think if we adopt a cat, like we'll get an adult cat. That like I don't really want puppies or kittens. Too much work. I'd rather adopt an adult cat. So we'll see, hopefully. Three events back to back? That's rough. I have um, two weddings back to back in, um, in June, like one day right after the other. So hopefully it's not too bad. We posted pictures. I'm excited. Fido. Hi, Fido. I'm excited that you got to join. I'm, I'm painting my pineapple. The pineapple was a request. Killer Co. just sent me pictures of his puppies and his uh, kitty. So I have to drop everything to see them. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Aww. Lua looks just like a big softy. Aww. Lua looks cuddly. I want a Lua. One, Mac. Mac La Drifter says one starts at 7.30 a.m., second starts at 8 a.m., third is at 4.30 a.m. until 100 p.m. My goodness, that's rough. Pineapples are the best, aren't they? Do you, you wish you knew how to do what? To the painting or was it something else that we were talking about I'm back and forth on um, YouTube and Twitch so I may have missed something So I had um, roofers working on my house today and it is suspiciously quiet right now. So I might just pop away for a second to go check on what's going on. We had the electricity go out. Um, a while ago. So they had to stop working, but then they were back at it. And I can't imagine that they're done already. So I kind of want to go check and see what the what's going on. Oh, I wish you could send a picture of your kids too. Um, do you have like Instagram? Like if you have a link from an Instagram or a Facebook, I think you can post it. I don't know how it works actually with links on YouTube. You could try just send a link because that's that's what they do on um, Twitch they just send a link to something killer code she is very very lazy and peaceful but pixie is like the hell inside a cat <laughs> Aww. that's funny <laughs>
I'm gonna grab a little bit of orange and mix it in and add, um, just make it a little bit darker around the outside. Let's see if it works. Need a scrap just to test this color. I'm like too scared to commit to a mixed color. I always test it first. Hi, Zev. Aw, thank you. Okay, D, I hope that you can figure it out. I'd love to see them. Okay, that color looks good. I hear the roofers back at work. I don't have to leave. <laughs> I feel better now. Is that terrible? I like, I've been trying to avoid going out there. I'm home by myself and uh, I don't know. I feel weird about having workers around when I'm home by myself. They were supposed to let us know when they were coming by and then my husband was gonna be home, but they didn't tell us. They just kind of showed up and started working and like we have been waiting a long time to get the work done. So I'm not gonna send them away. I'm just gonna let them keep working, but it's a little bit weird. <laughs> what are you up to do? What are you up to today, Zeb? <laughs> They're so noisy now. I hope that uh, I hope you can't hear it. They're making up for being so quiet earlier. <laughs> Even my dog's looking back all concerned. <laughs> They're so loud. You're doing some painting too? Zeb, what are you painting? landscape using green as a base slash main color today. Nice. some more orange. It's getting there. Fido, you're working. Fido, do you work from home? Or are you just um, lucky enough that you can have Twitch running while you're working? I'm gonna switch brushes. This one's a little too thick for the details. You're in an office. So I got new paint brushes. Which is pretty exciting. Programming, that's awesome. Killer Code is also a programmer. He's on here too. He streams um he streams programming too. 
He's working on a pretty cool project at the moment. Well, not at the moment, but when he when he does stream, I'll put up his thing. In uh, my my shout out thing doesn't um, I don't think works, but you can find him if you are interested. So I'm just gonna do the detail on here and then uh, do some more shading. D says BRB. Okay, we'll wait. <laughs> I probably have to set up the uh, shout out. I have some that are just like automatic, but obviously that is not one of them. Some commands, I mean, like some of my commands, just like all the generic ones seem to just, I never, uh, I didn't set up any custom ones. I should do um, a giveaway next month. I did one this month, I think. Should do one again for June. What should the uh, what should the giveaway be? Last the last one was a kit card, a card card kit, um, and I think Eva won that one, right? Yeah, Eva won it on YouTube. So we should do another one for June. I'll do like I'll do one like once a month. <laughs> I'm also craving pineapple Zeb. I was saying um my hubby likes to um he puts um I think it's brown sugar and cinnamon on there on the pineapple slices and then he grills them on the barbecue. That's so good. <clears throat> but it's been a while. Should I tell him to make some? Where's my tea? Yeah, that's one of my favorites too, Zeb. Hear the banging? Oh, awkward. I thought that they would be done before I live streamed, but I think they are gonna be here all night. They stayed pretty late yesterday. Welcome back, D. I think Zombie Boss was the one who requested the pineapple, and he's not even here. Well, I shouldn't say requested, he suggested. Because he asked for suggestions. Yeah, D, it's got to be done, the construction. 
And it's much needed. We put in a claim to our insurance to get this done a year ago. And it has taken them this long to deal with it. We had like a really bad windstorm last year and it took off so many of our shingles. So, um, I was like, well, technically that's weather related. So the insurance company can take care of it and I can save some money, but I had to wait forever for it to happen. So I am grateful that it is finally getting done. I'm not excited about doing the pineapple leaves. I didn't have a great um, go at that when I was practicing. I love painting leaves, but I don't know, pineapple leaves weren't doing it for me. I guess as long as you can hear me, that's good. Thanks, Dee. So even though I'm painting the yellow over top of the yellow, like it's exactly the same color, um, the paint is, because it's reactivating the yellow underneath, it's creating um, I don't know how to describe it, like um, kind of like this you can see like the edging to it because it's reactivating the color. A lot of people try to avoid that. Um, the very sharp edge that you can get with watercolor, but I like it because it looks like watercolor. I like the look. So I do it intentionally with water because I'm not using watercolor paper. I'm using cardstock. It really helps to get that look. If you use watercolor, it kind of softens everything so you don't get that very um, clear, sharp um, watercolor separation look. <clears throat> I don't know how to describe it, but I think that you know what you guys know what I'm trying to say. You think I should do sunsets next time, Zeb? I don't know if I'm up for that. Maybe. You're the one who does the landscapes. My pineapple looks a little square. <laughs> Have you guys seen those square um, watermelons? <laughs> I don't remember where they are. I feel like they're probably like Tokyo or something. <laughs> they grow the the, um, the the watermelon square so they can stack them. <laughs> I think that's clever. Deciding what brush size I want to do for the leaves. I don't want something too big. sure how I'm going to go about this. So I have like the basic shape just 
outlined here for me to work within. So I'm just gonna give it my best shot. Let's see. I think I'll start with the ones in front. I think, um, and then, because nothing really would be overlapping. So like the bottom and then the front. in concentration mode. <laughs> These look more leafy than pineapple leaves. They're like more thin, straight, and pointy. And <laughs> these look like tree leaves. I feel like this is a bit of a fail, but we'll see how it goes. Zeb says, even if it's like a nice cartoony watercolor sunset, I think it will look awesome. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> but we'll see. Maybe. My pineapple leaves look more pointy. Fido, you always have good jokes. Do you have any um, new ones? Fido was on earlier. I was watching. He was um, on somebody else's stream. I can't for the life of me think the name of the streamer, but he was telling jokes on the stream and they were funny. So I wanted to see if Fido had any good ones. <laughs> if my arms were made out of cheese, I'd call them parms. <laughs> Parms because it's like Parmesan. <laughs> Cute. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit terrified that my roof's gonna cave in with all the the banging, like, shaking the house. I can't imagine what they're doing up there. I don't know about, I don't know about this. Let's get comfortable. Ugh. Office chairs are not comfortable. I should get like a small couch or something. Although I'm told that this is like a gaming chair. So, <laughs> but it's still not that comfortable.
Okay, I think I need to look up. I need to look up pictures of pineapples because I just. I think this looks weird. So let's see. Pineapples. That's not how you spell pineapples. There we go. Come on, Google. Load faster. Images. Yeah. Yeah, they need to be like a little bit longer. I'm just gonna stick with it. My back's okay, Zeb. It's, I don't know. It's just like generally uncomfortable. I've, I have had like some back issues since my fall in January. So I, I've been going for like, um, I went for massages and things, but for the most part, everybody just kind of says like, you just have to let it heal. My back's okay today. I think the problem is I like to sit cross-legged. <laughs> It's not super comfortable to sit cross-legged in an office chair, but I do it anyways. I'm just ridiculous like that. So I got my white gel pen out so I can do some highlights because I paint with ink. I don't want to have white ink. So that is my plan for this painting. I'm going to do the highlights with, um, with my white gel pen. I tested it out and it works okay. So I'm excited to try it on sort of a bigger scale. I feel like this looks really weird, these leaves. The pictures of pineapples don't... Oh, they're more... I'm like making them like... They need to be more like... I know what I'm doing wrong. Alright, I can fix this. Maybe I can fix this. I think it looks better already. <laughs> it's very like contemporary looking. <laughs> So Fido, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a programmer, but I went to school for web development. And uh, then I didn't stick with it. Is that, knock knock, LOL, help. Is that supposed to be your joke? <laughs> yeah, webs. I, uh, I, I started freelancing straight out of high school and, um, 
then I don't know. I just, it doesn't pay well as a freelancer where I am at, or I think that I'm not, I don't think I'm the right personality. Like I would need somebody to sort of manage the business. And then I did the work maybe because I wasn't getting paid very well. So I just ended up doing something else. Referring to all the knocking. <laughs> I know the knocking's so bad, I'm embarrassed. But the best web developer I ever met was a spider. <laughs> Fido, you know, that's really funny you say that because when I started my little web design business when I was freelancing, like my logo was a spider. And um, I called my business Spider Labs. <laughs> and it was all spider themed and people didn't get it. And I thought it was great. <laughs> At least we can make knock knock jokes. Yeah, it's a. I know, D. It's hard not to be embarrassed, though. <laughs> You're so loud. I know that. I know you said that it's not that bad, but So this one is going to be another greeting card because um, then I don't have a pile of paintings I don't know what to do with. So I just turn them into greeting cards so that I can at least give them away. So I was thinking for this one inside I'm going to put party like a pineapple. What do you think? I think that's what I'm going to go with because then it can be a birthday card or I think there's lots of options. Anything worth celebrating, I can give them a my pineapple card. This looks like green fire. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like leaves. Housewarming? I can make it into a housewarming card. That's true. I'm just gonna erase all the pencil. All my pencil guides that I didn't really follow. welcome card. It could be a welcome card. I feel like it needs something around the edges. It looks kind of empty. What could I put around the edges? 
Maybe like some pineapple slices. What do pineapple slices look like? I don't have an imagination, <laughs> obviously. I have to look up everything before I paint it. They're kind of round and pointy. Hopefully this turns out. Flourishes. Can I just do some flourishes? You gotta run. Okay, bye, D. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good evening. I know I always, for like YouTube, I try to keep it to an hour long, but if I don't finish the card, I just keep going. So don't feel like you have to you have to stick around. I know I've kept a lot of you for an hour already. I don't think flourishes would go with my party theme. Because I want to put party like a pineapple inside the card. <clears throat> so I'm gonna I'm gonna try the pineapple slices and see how that goes. Yeah, I'm gonna do pineapple slices. Kind of like in bet behind him a little bit. I don't think it would be too hard to do the pineapple slices. A bigger brush. Be that one. What have I got? I have all these new ones I'm excited about, but I, I don't. <laughs> I don't really use them. <clears throat> yeah, I'll go with. Um, I said that I didn't have anything for these brushes. So maybe I should try painting with these ones. I'll give them a go, see how it goes. Give it a try. I don't like this so far because I have to work around the detail of the pineapple that's already there. And you know what? I'm just going to power through. I feel like I need to get used to working with different brushes. So I'm just going to do like the 
circle shape for the slices and then I'm going to come back and do all the details for it. You know, I have to say though, these brushes are kind of, they're doing a nice jo like even job. So I give them that wasn't what I intended. I wasn't really going for like a nice even look, but it's good to know that these are applying the color really evenly. These big flat brushes. <laughs> the thing I don't like about these brushes that I got is that um, the water doesn't flow evenly out when I press. But they are cheap knockoffs, so <laughs> you get what you pay for, right? So as I said that the the evenness of the paint is not looking so even anymore. What happened? I think I need more practice with these. I don't know what I'm doing. These brushes are just not doing it for me. I kind of want to keep going and just kind of push on so that I can force myself to learn how to use these flat brushes, but... Also just want to just use what I know. Yellow is coming out a lot more vibrant this time around. I think there must be more water coming out of the this brush. Because this is the same yellow I was using for my pineapple. And it looks a lot brighter. So I think like a lot more water must be coming out while I'm using these. be a little too judgmental of my own work. All right, I'm switching brushes. You need a detail brush for the next part. It's like a relief. <laughs> Done with that brush. All right. <laughs> I still have your puppy's picture up killer coat in my tabs. So cute. How's your painting going, Zeb? I 
Everybody got so quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just finished your dinner. What was for dinner? <laughs> I'm streaming during your dinner. You stream during my dinner. Guys, I gotta figure out what to make for dinner tonight. I was gonna barbecue, but I feel kind of awkward barbecuing outside while the workers are on the roof. Like, I feel like I'd have to, like, feed them dinner. Noodle soup. Soup's pretty good. Is it like chicken noodle? My husband makes this awful soup. Every time I'm sick, um, I think it's like a soup from his childhood. It took me so long to, to work off the nurse to tell him it was disgusting. Honestly, it's basically like chicken broth and like pasta balls. Like, it's really rough. And it's just like... But I like, uh, I like regular soups that my husband is not involved in making. <laughs> What about you, Zeb? What are you having for dinner? You always make such delicious looking things. When you're sick, all you want is chicken soup. I like chicken soup, but when I'm sick, I, like, it's the last thing I feel like eating. I don't know. I think chicken soup is the right name for it. <laughs> With stir fry veggies, that sounds good. Yeah, like chicken broth, like when my husband makes his idea of chicken see if it's just like the broth with like nothing in it. Though like chicken broth is just like the it's like the water the watery chicken flavor. I wouldn't call it a soup, but that's like that's what my husband likes to make. Zab says I usually do ginger ale, Gatorade, soup, peanut butter and, and jam. Nice. Like when you're sick. I want to know what you're doing for dinner tonight. I have to, I have to think about um, dinner ideas for tonight.
I bought pork chops. I think I'll probably barbecue pork chops for dinner. I'll do um, pork chops and maybe like mashed potato and some veggies. But I don't want to have to feed all the workers. <laughs> it sounds like they're doing a rain dance on my roof. I wouldn't be surprised if there is a rain dance happening on my roof. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like it with rice or with I don't know the name in English it is it has letter shape and looks like pasta um alphabet what are they called alphabet alphagettis alpha I think they're called alphagettis <clears throat> I'm gonna google it I think that's what they're called oh yeah, alphagettis. That's what the the letter of pastas are. <laughs> And carrots, some mint with pieces of chicken. Gosh, I guess I have to uh, to dinner again. <laughs> we making you hungry with all this soup talk. <laughs> I'm not supposed to um, eat grains. I'm not supposed to eat rice and eggs. Eggs sound good. I'm gonna be starving by the time I'm done my stream. So looking forward to uh for dinner now. <laughs> Go for alphagettis. <laughs> Should I? I probably won't do soup tonight though. I might do soup another night. It's like, it's so hot today. I don't think I could handle having soup on a hot day. How about you, Fido? What are you guys having for dinner? Does your wife usually do the, the cooking? I 
Uh, ramen noodles are the best. Honestly, those are my favorites. I could live off of ramen noodles. True story. Killer Code sent me a picture. It says just loading. Wow, that looks so good. Okay, when I make ramen noodles, it's just noodles and flavoring. It does not look that good. That looks amazing. Um, I think I should come to your house, Killer Code, for dinner because you are a lot better cook than I am. You'll probably have some avocado vino. That's not very exciting. Ramen noodles made with spaghetti. I don't didn't have noodles at the time. Is it still good with the spaghetti? Fido, I love avocado. I um I buy like a pack at a time, but then by the time the pack's done, I'm so sick of avocado. But I love it. I just have it like with um, some salt and pepper, and I just eat it like that. So good. It's even better with the spaghettis, killer code. I'm gonna try it then. Cause I just ran out of ramen noodles too. That's actually what I was gonna have for lunch today. I don't even remember what I did have for lunch today. Guys, I'm getting so hungry. I lost the lid for my paintbrush. This keeps happening to me. They fit on the end of the pens and I put them down somewhere and I never see them again. I don't know where it went. Oh well. I'm gonna give these flat brushes another go. Let's add some more um detail into these slices. Fido, are you a millennial? Because I feel like there's this big joke about millennials and their um, avocado. So if you are, you'd fit right in. I'm 30. I just made the uh, made it into the millennial <laughs> box. Killer code, yep. The first time I had ramen, it was with udon pasta, which traditionally is a handmade pasta that looked like spaghetti, but it, sorry, I got distracted for a minute halfway through that. Um, but it's a little thicker, so I really don't mind doing it with spaghetti because it's almost the same. I I honestly I'm going to I'm going to try um I'm going to try it with spaghetti. I really like thin noodles though and I have um it's a capellini. So I think I'm going to try it with that. I don't needs to be 
avocado toast to fit the joke. <laughs> I don't, I don't eat some, I don't eat grains, so I don't eat bread. Sad. I miss bread. Although I say that, like, I eat pasta. <laughs> Nobody's keeping me from my pasta, but I'll stop eating bread. I got a subscriber on YouTube. Anointed one, thank you for subscribing if you're watching. My, I thought I took it off of the screen alerts because it confuses me because I don't get subscribers on um, Twitch yet. You're also no bread, Fido. It's hard, isn't it? Like, I feel like it's a little bit worse for me. Like, I'm not just bread like I'm no grain so like no rice or anything like that I'm not supposed to eat pasta but <clears throat> I'm also supposed supposed to be starch free my naturopath has me on this unfortunate diet which I don't usually follow <laughs> Yeah, grain free is a is a bummer. I keep moving this my painting off the screen. Not making it easy for everybody. You feel bloated and yucky when you have bread, so you probably have like an intolerance to something. I get that with eggs. I can't eat eggs straight. I used to be okay when I when I ate bread. Like if I had the eggs with the bread, I was okay. But since I've given up bread, I can't eat eggs anymore. What do you guys think? Do you think it needs more? <laughs> I feel like I don't want to get carried away, but I feel like I don't like the white space. I feel like I need to fill it with something. Maybe I'll do a couple of leaves or something. Something to fill that space. Fill the void. Burgers are way better without the bun. I've never had burgers without the bun. I do hot dogs without the bun. But I've never tried hamburgers without the bun. What do you have in your hamburger? I feel like I don't have, like I'll have like lettuce and um, like ketchup. So I feel like it wouldn't be that great for me. What am I looking for? Brush for me. Leaves. There's like no water coming out of this brush now. What the heck? <laughs> now you want a burger for dinner? I'm sorry. Do you ever, uh, like when you eat out, do you order burgers without the bun? Oh, I missed the last one. Meat and cheese, mayo and mustard all wrapped in a, in a lettuce bun. 
Interesting. Okay, I feel like I could do that. I can probably... Because I, you know, I do that with tacos now. Like, I do the lettuce taco shells. So it could work. Maddie, stop, Maddie. My dog's looking herself in the background. That's lovely. You all done? Do you want to come sit with me? Do you want to come up here? Come here. Up. Oh, girl. Oops, you're all tangled in my cords. There we go. I'll give you guys a, uh, you can see my baby. If I can lift her. This is my baby. This is Maddie. Hi, guys. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the kisses. Choco Becca, thanks. Am I saying your name right? Choco, Choco, Choco Becca, Choco Becca. <laughs> thanks. She's my fur baby. I love her to death. She's a little bit stinky right now. You're a stinker. You need a bath. You do. You do. I got it right? Okay, good. Are you going to get comfortable? Or are you just going to be a pain? Mwah. My little fluff muffin. Killer Code, did you see my baby when I showed her? <clears throat> Killer Code showed me a picture of his baby. What do you guys think I should paint next? <clears throat> Zab thinks I should do the sunset. <clears throat> I think it was a sunset. <laughs> I always like, I have no voice at the end of all my streams. <clears throat> I'm obviously not a very talkative person <laughs> off of uh, off screen. <clears throat> I'm just going to mute this for a second and cough. Oh, there's that's better. Paint a cat. Is there is there a specific reason for the cat or just you just want me to paint a cat? You just really like cats, Fido? A peacock? I like the idea of a peacock because that would be nice and bright and colorful. That's a maybe. I'm going to give up on this brush. I think trouble with the water flow in it. Let's try one of my old ones. Yeah. 
You get what you pay for, right? And uh, my cheap brushes just aren't cutting it today. It looks way better. Heidi, do you have cats? <clears throat> I just can't get my dog comfortable. She's she's so fussy. Such a fussy puppy. She's sitting on my lap, but she's staring at her little dog bed under the table. Do you want to go down? Do you want down? Okay. I'll put you down. There you go. Is that better? What? I'm not coming down with you. Silly puppy. Okay, I'm going to do the inside of the card. <clears throat> I'm gonna roughly. Oh wait, I haven't finished with the outside. What am I doing? I to finish with the outside of this card first. I got a little carried away there. Can't forget all the shadows and highlights. <laughs> I feel like I do this thing when I'm painting, I like, leave my mouth hanging open. And then when I watch the playback to make sure that everything's okay with the sound and stuff and I watch myself, I'm like, why is my mouth open? <laughs> so I'm trying to be like conscious and not sit there with my mouth hanging open <laughs> while I paint. I'm sad that um, Zombie Boss doesn't seem to be around today since he's the one who requested the pineapple. Or oh, suggested, suggested the pineapple. Oh, well, that's okay. <clears throat> I'll show him next time he's on. Or her. It's hard to know on on uh, Twitch if who I'm talking to. I'm gonna help this leaf a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do my highlights. I'm excited. It's so fun adding the highlights to the paintings. Like it makes such a difference. 
<clears throat> normally I I paint and um, like while I'm painting I'll skip like I won't paint over the highlights like if that makes sense I'll intentionally leave the white space for the highlights but today I'm using my gel pen so I uh, <clears throat> didn't have to worry about that today it's gonna look good It makes such a huge difference. The white highlights. <clears throat> so earlier today, we had like a five minute power outage. So I'm so scared that like I'm gonna be in the middle of the stream and we're just gonna lose the electrical again. So if that happens, you guys know what happened. I'm trying to decide if I should stream tomorrow or Friday. I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll stream on Friday because um, hopefully they'll be done with the uh, with the work on the roof. So I'll try to be back on on Friday, the same time, my usual time. I might come on and um, work on my photos this week too, because I have to get those done. I like the company while I'm editing. Keeps me focused. Keeps me off Facebook. Guys, seen any good shows lately? I was watching um, Dreamland. It's kind of funny. I don't have um, TV, so I just Netflix everything. So I watched Dreamland. It's like an Australian show. It's pretty funny. But I finished it. And I finished the new season of Brooklyn Nine Nine. I need I need new stuff. What do you guys think? Any suggestions? I like uh, I like like comedies. Although I d I say that I I watch Dynasty too, but I kind of think Dynasty is funny because it's just such an over dramatic soap opera. I don't like anything too violent or gory or anything like that. Cause it stops me from sleeping. I'm such a wuss. Guys, gotta give me some uh, some suggestions. What what have you guys been watching lately? I think that I 
I think it looks good. I think I'm ready to move into doing the sentiment. I have some yogurt sitting here. I'm just going to have a bite. I hope that's not rude to sit and eat on screen. But all this talk about food is making me hungry. My husband buys yogurts for work snacks and then I eat them. <laughs> he tries to buy me my own, but I'm like, no, I'm not going to eat the yogurt. And then I eat all these yogurt. <laughs> There's nothing else in the house to eat. The fridge is empty. These yogurts were just sitting there. All right. So I'm going to do um, party like a pineapple. That's what I'm going to put on the inside. <clears throat> I got some yellow on the inside. Oh, well. Sorry, I like get super quiet when I'm concentrating. I set up um, the music, the music request thing, but I don't know if I did it right. Should log in and take a look. You could get some music playing when I'm being <laughs> quiet. Be able to fit the word pineapple in here. Valicius. Thank you. That's exciting. Thanks. I don't even know how to say your name. I'm so sorry. Val Valius. Am, am I close? I need like the kinetics view. Valicius. <laughs> Thanks for the host. Vassy. All right. I'm calling you Vassy. Thanks, Vassy. We just, I just, I've been working on my pineapple greeting card and um, the last stream I did um, a peacock or peacock, um, a flamingo. So that one, I finished the last one. So I had him out because I'm proud of him. And today, by request, um, doing pineapple. So we've definitely got like this theme going on here. Um, I'm a watercolor painter, but really I paint with inks. So that's what I've been working on today. I've been doing my watercolor greeting cards. But the pineapples have been making me so hungry.
so I just started, I'm doing the sentiment inside, and I decided it's going to say, um, party like a pineapple, so this is going to be like a party card. Aw, uh, thanks, Fassy. Yeah, I enjoy painting. <laughs> Oh yes, so I'm going to work on this. I'm trying to get the word pineapple to fit in. <laughs> so I'm just doing it in pencil before I um, paint over it permanently. But I don't think I can get it to fit it's so close. There we go, just made it. All right, now I need to pick a brush that I'm gonna work with. I need to pick a color too. I don't know about doing yellow for um, the words though. Maybe I'll do orange, like orange and green maybe. I think I'm going to do orange. If I do like a deep orange, it'll show up nicely. No, I've already changed my mind. I'm already like, nope, not using that brush. I bought, I got new brushes and I'm trying to force myself to use my new brushes, but um, I'm so used to my old ones. I feel comfortable using my old brushes. I think I'm gonna stick with them for the lettering because lettering is pretty hard as it is, so. <clears throat> I think the, I think the, um, the orange looks good. So the key, like when you are doing brush lettering like this, um, to always do a thicker downstroke and a thinner upstroke. So when I was learning, I did it with markers and I would just um, write out the word and then come back and just thicken the downstrokes. So that's a good trick if you are just learning or want to try brush calligraphy. You could learn with a marker. It's the easiest way to learn. So it definitely takes a lot of practice with the paintbrush. <laughs> I have um I have roofers on my roof right now making a lot of noise. So if you're wondering, I'm so sorry, if you're wondering about all the banging and slamming, that's what all that is. They're so loud. But I'm super happy to be getting the work done.
sorry, it gets so quiet when I'm doing lettering. I have to like remind myself to breathe. <laughs> I just love <clears throat> the look of brush calligraphy. I think it looks so beautiful. So I plan that in pencil, <clears throat> but I don't like where I place the A, so I'm just going to move it a little bit. Guys, the chat got so quiet all of a sudden. What happened? Is everybody gone for dinner? <laughs> Code, you're still here. I'm glad. Well, you already had your dinner. We need some more jokes. Anybody know any other jokes? I only, I have like one joke that I always use and um, I'm always scared to use it in case like there are vegetarians or <laughs> vegans, my sister is vegan. I'm always so scared of offending people but um, here goes. So what do you call a cow with no legs? <laughs> Ground beef. I think it's funny. What do you call a cow with only two legs? <laughs> Lean beef. <laughs> Milk storage? <laughs> Maybe. Could be. <laughs> it works too.
What did the salad say to the pineapple? Let us be friends. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Not a couple. Oh, I missed your joke. Uh, do you know what a couple of pink dots on a stage? Some pink dots on the stage. I I feel like the because I feel like I might be reading it wrong or we're lost in translation here. I'm confused. Do you mean, um, what do you call some pink dots on a stage? I don't know what. Pink Floyd. <laughs> That's funny. It's a good band. I feel like I should put some leaves or something in to match. I think I'll leave it probably. I don't want to go overkill with it. <clears throat> I missed a call from my hubby. So I'm going to call him back really quick. So he doesn't think I'm ignoring him. I don't know. He keeps calling me during my streams. Like he knows that I'm streaming. There you go. I'm putting like random lines in here. I just feel like the text needs some jazzing up a bit. It needs a little something.
I just smudge one of my letters? Fail. Come on, Taryn. Get it together. Oh, well. Maybe I can fix it later. Once it dries, I'll be able to fix it a little bit better. Hard to fix it while it's still wet. Vazzy, where did you uh, did you just finish streaming? Vazzy may have gone to uh, let's take a break. May not be here anymore. practicing. I'm really into uh, brush calligraphy. It's my thing lately. <laughs> it's my latest obsession. It's so much fun. I decided to add a little bit of green in here because uh, I felt like it was missing something. Got a little bit of smudge there, so I think they fixed it. There we go. I think my card is complete. My party like party like a pineapple. I think that's fun. So I think I probably am going to end the stream soon. My hubby is on the way home and he called because he wanted to know what we were doing about dinner. So I have to go figure that out because um, the workers are still here. And if I'm feeding an army, I have to go figure that out. So yeah, but I think the card is good. I think it's finished. What do you guys think? I think it's a good place to end. Thanks everybody for um, coming and hanging out. Um, I haven't really decided what I'm going to paint for the next one. I think it's safe to say that I will jump online again on Friday. I have the workers here and I don't know if they'll be done by tomorrow. So, <laughs> Fido, thanks. High fives. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if they'll be done tomorrow. So I will probably be on on Friday. 
I'd like to try to get on at least um, three times a week. So I'm gonna try for try for Friday. So I, I'm always on Mondays and um, Monday and Wednesdays at three Eastern, and I'm gonna try for um, Friday this week. But it'll probably be Thursdays from now on. Um, so thanks for um, watching and hanging out, and for everybody. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's always like awkward, like ending your stream. You're like, um, okay, <laughs> bye. Um, so I, I hope you guys, um, enjoyed my stream and I hope I catch you next time. So next time being Friday and, um, yeah, I hope everybody has a good evening and, um, and thanks Choco Becca. Um, yeah, so I hope I see you guys again soon. Everybody have a wonderful evening or day or wherever you are in your day. I'll see you next time.